Dear learners, greetings of the day. I, Mohini Rasa, welcome everybody to the session on alcoholic beverages. The learning objectives of this session are to learn and understand definition of alcoholic beverages, to understand classification of alcoholic beverages with examples and to understand definitions according to the classification. Let's understand what is alcoholic beverage. A portable, portable means safe to drink liquid containing ethyl alcohol or ethanol of 0.5% or more by volume is termed as an alcoholic beverage. Alcohol is obtained by fermenting a liquid that contains sugar. To make any kind of alcoholic beverage, a fermented mash which has sugar is required. Fermentation is a process in which yeast will act, a, act on sugar and as a byproduct it will produce alcohol and carbon dioxide. Fermented liquid has around 3 to 14 percent alcohol and it can be concentrated or increased up to 95 percent by distillation. The word alcohol is derived from the Arabic word alcohol in which uh, originally, the word alcohol referred to fine powder, which applied to essence obtained by distillation by the alchemist of medieval Europe. Pure alcohol is actually colorless and it's clear liquid with burning taste. The colors that you see in alcohol are derived either from the wood when it is matured or from caramel or different methods. Moving ahead, we have a chart in which it's classification of alcoholic beverages. Alcoholic beverages can be classified as fermented, distilled and compound. Under fermented, the first one is beer. Beer is a beverage which actually is brewed and fermented. Fermented example beverages or fermented uh, examples of the beverages are wine you also have cider and perry we will take a look at it ahead wine can be categorized into different types which can be as sparkling wine still wine and fortified wine distillation or distilled beverages are obtained by the particular method of distillation however for any alcoholic beverage to be made fermentation has to be done distilled beverage or spirits as we call them are also called as liquor and the examples of distilled beverages include rum whiskey gin tequila vodka brandy and then few other spirits for example calvados moving ahead the next category is compound beverages and the example are liqueurs Let's take a look at what are fermented beverages. In fermentation process, yeast consumes the sugar and gives ethyl alcohol or ethanol and carbon dioxide as byproducts. Any beverage which is obtained by fermentation or use, using fermentation is called as fermenta fermented beverage. Fermentation pr process is the basis for producing all types of alcoholic beverages. And as we saw, the example of fermented beverage include wines. Other fermented beverage includes of cider and perry. Cider, taking a look at the first picture, cider is actually a fermented alcoholic beverage which is prepared from fermented mash of cider apples. The proportion of apple juice in manufacturing is has to be 75%. 75% of apple juice with the addition of 25% of pear, pear juice is utilized in making of cider. While perry is made with 75% of pear juice and 25% of apple juice. It is made from fermented mash of pears. Moving 
Looking ahead, let's see what are brewed and fermented beverages. And the examples before I move further are bio and sake. The base ingredient used for production is malted. Malting is a process where the grains that are going to be utilized in production are allowed to, to be soaked in water. Remove it from the water and allowed for germination. Once they have reached to a certain point of germination and once the enzyme has converted insoluble sugars to soluble sugars, the grains or the cereals are dry roasted and are crushed and are crushed. The crushed powder of the cereals is called as grist which is brewed into hot water so that the maximum soluble sugars are extracted from the malt. However, before the fermentation is done, it is compulsory or it is required to cool down the liquid so that the yeast can survive. Examples include of beer. Further categories of beer are ale and lago. Ale is a top fermented beer and lago is a bottom fermented beer. And sake. Sake is a beverage which is made from rice and is produced or originates from Japan. Sake is served in a very unique equipment. On the slide you see a picture are the sake bottles and the in the next picture you see is the serving equipment that is utilized to serve sake. Moving ahead, we have distilled beverages. Distilled spirit, also called as distilled liquor, alcoholic beverage, and the examples include our brandy, whiskey, rum, a rack. They are obtained by distillation from fermented fruit or from starchy materials. The mash that is utilized in production will change depending on the type of the spirit that is being manufactured. For example, whiskey can be manufactured or is manufactured from barley, wheat or corn. Whereas, rum is manufactured from molasses and brandy is manufactured using grapes. The alcoholic content of these distilled beverages is higher than that of beer or wine. Alcoholic content of beer ranges from 3% up to 10%. For wine, it ranges from 12% to 14 to 15%. And for distilled beverages, it ranges from 40% and can go up to 95% depending on the distillation. In this slide, you see very popular brand of Shivas Rigal, which is a premium scotch whiskey and vodka that is absolute vodka. So whiskey, vodka, gin, tequila, rum and brandy are distilled beverages. Let's watch a video on distillation and let's understand what distillation is all about. Ethanol, or what we typically call alcohol, is produced in drinks by fermentation. However, there are slight differences in the way different alcoholic beverages are made. Thanks to the generosity of the Broken Beaker Distillery in Indianapolis, this video will explore the chemistry behind distilled beverages. Glucose is a carbohydrate that is used as energy in the majority of living organisms. But the way that different organisms break down that glucose differs. When brewer's yeast consumes glucose, it produces ethanol as a byproduct of a process called fermentation. So, producing alcoholic beverages should be pretty easy. Take glucose, give it to yeast, and boom, drinks for everybody. However, the plant matter used as glucose sources for yeast has most of its glucose locked up in a storage form called starch. Thus, the distillers at the Broken Beaker use two enzymes called alpha and beta amylase to break down that starch into usable glucose. But there's another problem. Yeast cannot survive in a liquid of more than 20% ethanol. Distillation is therefore used to reach the higher alcohol content found in distilled drinks. 
When a mixture of two liquids boils, the vapor phase contains a higher fraction of the compound with the lower boiling point than the liquid phase contains. In the case of water and ethanol, ethanol has the lower boiling point. If this concentrated ethanol vapor is then collected as a liquid and boiled again, the new vapor mixture will have an even higher fraction of ethanol. As the fraction of ethanol in the mixture increases, the boiling point of the mixture decreases. Distillers use these principles to increase the ethanol content of their drinks. As the fermented mash of ethanol, water, and other impurities is boiled, a vapor containing a higher fraction of ethanol than the mash contains rises in the column. Eventually, the vapor reaches a point in the column that is cool enough for it to condense back into a liquid, which is caught on a condenser plate. Further hot vapor rising in the column will cause the collected liquid to boil again, causing it to have an even higher fraction of ethanol. This process continues until vapor with a high enough fraction of ethanol, and therefore a low enough boiling point, to reach the top of the column is formed. This vapor then makes its way to a condenser tube, where it is cooled back into a liquid and collected. The first 5-10% of the collected liquid, called the heads, is made up of the many volatile impurities that were produced in the mash. The bulk of the collected liquid, called the hearts, contains the distilled ethanol. The last portion of the liquid is called the tails and contains a relatively low amount of ethanol. One of the striking features of the distillation equipment is the many segments made of copper. This metal helps to remove foul-tasting sulfur compounds from drinks by forming copper sulfate, which is not very soluble in ethanol. As much as creating these drinks is a science, it is also an art form. If you are at all interested in learning more, head on down to the Broken Beaker Distillery, where they would love to teach you more. As usual, feel free to comment below, and if you want more science, be sure to subscribe to Everyday Elements on YouTube. Moving ahead, let's talk about compound beverages. Under compound beverages, we have examples of liqueurs and cocktails. Liqueurs are alcoholic beverages which are generally considered or consumed after dinner and are called as digestives. It's an alcoholic beverage which has a base of distilled spirit which can be rum, brandy or any neutral spirit and the flavoring agents that are added can be obtained from different types of herbs, fruits, seeds or spices. Liqueurs also can be sweetened and be colored. Very popular example of liqueur is Bailey's Irish Cream. Moving ahead, we have cocktails which are compound beverages. Cocktail is an alcoholic mixed drink which is either or combination of spirits or one or more spirits mixed with other ingredients such as fruit juice, flavored syrups or creams. There are various types of cocktails based on the number and kind of ingredients that are added. But to give example, we have classic cocktails like Martini, Margarita, Cosmopolitan and Mojito. Thank you. I request all the students of AISSMSCHMCT to click in the to click on the link given in the description to take the quiz on alcoholic beverages. Thank you. Happy learning.